Hello, welcome back. This is what we're making today. It is the flat back reducer, commonly known as the fishtail nozzle. There is a little bit of trimming involved when you form the reducers here and here. These reducers are, well, very much like half uh, the right cone. That's a good description for them. As you can see, this is made up in five different pieces a straight swage. A reducer, a double straight swage, a reducer and a straight swage. So let's move this out of the way and learn how to make this. So first of all we would start by drawing a baseline. Where our fitting is going to be 100mm and the height of the fitting is going to be 50mm. So first of all we draw a baseline. Form a right angle. So we need to open our dividers up to fifty mil to give us our hundred. This wants to be a full circle, so we just draw a full circle in like that. We divide that up in the usual way. Now, we need to form an apex because all reducers have an apex that we've learnt in previous videos. So, from the top of the circle there through to the side there, just draw that straight through, and the same on the other side. Just draw that straight through there. Right, the height of the fitting. Is going to be 50 mil, so we need to come down to here from this point here, and we draw in 55 mil there, and the same on this side 55 mil there. Now, the thickness of the pencil line will give you the uh, swage because you obviously you've got to put a couple of swages on it. So now we open up. I'll divide this, place them at the top of the apex, and we go just there, draw an arc in, and we do the same down here. Draw an arc in. Now we need to take our ruler, square, whatever you got, and we need to put in our reduction, which in this case is 25mm, so we just mark a line in there, 25mm, and take that straight across there. across there like that. and we take that straight up to there and the same on the other side and we join that just there Now, from this point 
this point, we need to divide that up into 4 and that up into 4. That will roughly be about 13, 13, sorry, about 13 mil. I'm just trying to. Perfect. Let's go on this side. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And there. Now, once we've got this, it's divided up, we need to try and spare these measurements to the top up here. So why you still got them set up, just put them in. So one, two, three, four, and the same down the other side. These are gonna form a reduction. One, two, three, Now we've got those in, we need to join each one of these up to the corner here and here. So let's get that done. have it. So that forms our reduction. Now all we need to do is put in our circumferences. Now to do that we have to come off on this one here and this one here at 90 degrees. So again you're going to use your square. So you take a square and you just pop it in there. So from the edge of that line there just draw a line in. Flip it over and do the same on this corner here. Let's draw a line in there. And the same on that side. So on that point there and this point here. So let's draw a line in. There we go. All that's left to do now is to put on our circumference lines. So we take our dividers and we open those up to here. Let's check it. And as always, perfect. So going down this side, we want four lines. And going down this side, we'd want eight lines because 12 divisions make a full circumference. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're going to put an extra one in for that. So that's our lap. So now that's all we need to do. Let's just draw that in. I'm going to draw that in in marker pen just so you can see what's been going on here. Right. So we just draw that in. That's there. There. 
just there. Each one of these here. Finally, of course, they're there. There you have it. That, just here, that is our pattern. Now we'd put a couple of rivet holes in on this side, just a couple of dots here, just to show you a convenient spacing and Similarly on the other side you could map them through once you've done these ones in front of me. Right, what we do now is we take this and we take it to the folder and we just put a slight fold on each one of these lines here. Each one of those in turn and that forms the reducer. I've made one here in paper, there we go look, as you can see, and its counterpart there as you can see. Now, this is where the trimming comes in. On this side here, you can see it's just slightly over. So you've got to just trim that slightly along that side to make it round before you swage it. So all you need to do is just take your tin snips and you just cut up there like that. Back down to that corner there, and all you're doing is just taking that off to make it round, so it's round. And all you need to do then is put either a male or female swage on there, a male or female swage on there, and similarly on this side, as you can see again, it's just slightly over, so you just need to trim that side off again. So you take tin snips, we're just using scissors, I made this out of paper obviously, and you just trim that like that. Back round to there, and that's all you're doing. You see, you're just trimming that to make it round again. So then, again, again, you just put a male or female swage on there, same on this side, and that forms your flat back reducer. So you can see the fittings there. I've made these in paper and I've folded them, but you'd have to put that through your folder. And once you have there you go, that's what you'll have there and then this you just measure your flat and make a piece of casing up and fasten with screws again there see fastened with screws and again there fastened with screws. Right that's basically it so have fun making this because it's a really good one to learn and if you do the 100mm size is what we've done here the 4 inch you'll find it's a good size to practice with and as always practice makes perfect so enjoy making this fitting and until the next time I will be seeing you please remember to sub subscribe to my channel that would be very helpful and pass the word around like and share thank you very much and goodbye <laughs>